Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, we have here a tower site right here. Bands, N41. I want you guys to look at that cabling. I will include a video at the end, a picture at the end of the video. You will see, once again, why can't they give us decent wiring? But I guess it is what it is. So we just put it on standalone. So we got 60 megahertz of band 41. And this is a new install right here because this tower was not here before. So let's do a test. So we're looking at 11 ping six jitter. Okay, 278 down. And 47.3 on the upload. So what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna do this. We're gonna start driving, okay? So I'll put it on the map. Or actually, let me, let me grab another phone. Let me put another phone on the map here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep track of the mileage of how long before we lose a signal because we're going to do it with standalone just because it's going to be the same thing as if it was connected to regular band uh you know to the nsa so this will give us uh a thing about you know like how long is it going to be how long will it connect stay connected for all right so this is where we're at right now on one mill and placid street okay so i'm gonna put this right here and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna continue we're just gonna drive we're gonna get out of this parking lot right now and we're just gonna keep the video going on the live so let's see here we're gonna put rsrp value right there boom so let's so just by moving a few feet let's see here moving a few feet it went from 65 oh there you go so it's all it's all over the place right now so let's just let's just go towers right here so we're gonna make a right and we're gonna head windmill east so see what PCI we're at. PCI 181. PCI 212. Oh, we just changed towers. So we got a range of about 1.3 miles before we change PC, PCI to a different tower. So I guess it all depends on the tower site, you know, what they're doing. So now that we're connected to PCI 212, which I know what tower that is right here. So, we cr 
across when they changed over was Windmill and Maryland Parkway. So we're gonna keep going east right now. We just passed the 215. And we're just gonna keep going, we're just gonna keep it rolling. So let's do a quick test while, it, while it's testing. 10 pink, three jitter. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on our RSRP. Okay, we're still at PCI 212. Okay, 262. Okay, so now we're connected to, to Beta Sector 211 PCI. All right, so this shows us right here, guys, our range. So now let's look at the map and let's see from PCI, when it connected to PCI 212, so which was Maryland Parkway. So we're, we're gonna be right here, where is it? So the last one was 1.3 miles, okay? So boom, let's, let's exit out of this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, come on, clear. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm used to Apple Maps more. So let's do to Maryland Parkway is right here. Dang, come on, man. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it do the GPS exit. Uh, this is why I like Apple. Okay, so Eastern and Windmill right here where we're at. So, let's see here. Is this Maryland Parkway right here? Yep, Maryland Parkway. So this tower site was 0.9 miles. So we have 1.3 miles, 0.9 miles. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay connected to this tower and we're gonna see how much further east, east will be this way. So further east I can go until it fully disconnects from N41, okay? So that's what we're gonna do next, guys. So let's pay attention here. So we're gonna do a quick speed test while we're under the tower. There you go, nine pink, five jitter. We're in the 50s and RSRP. So, you know, it's gonna be, should be really fast. Okay, 328 down. I'm sorry for all the background noise, guys. Just, you know how it is, we're just trying to get it going. I got the windows down, beautiful night. Yeah. Okay, so 34.4 on the up. All right, so now let's exit this parking, this parking lot right here. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go through here. We're gonna exit this parking lot right here. And we're gonna go to the we're gonna see how long it takes before we lose N41. Pink two jitter, and remember, this is standalone forty one. Okay, four forty one down. We just 
crossed right now Eastern, heading east on Windmill Road. Windmill Lane. Okay, 45.2. Now let's look at our our RSRP value. We're still at PCI 211. So now let's do on the map. Let's see how far our distance was. Let's see. Oh man, these damn phones, man. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so used to just an iPhone. It's so easy, so simple. It's garbage. Okay, so back. Okay, so. Okay, so we're right. Okay, so Thayer Avenue, where we're at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. Okay, pay it goes, we're gonna go take. So the tower, the tower is around, where is it, where's that KFC at? So right here, KFC. So let's see directions. So this one worked 1.9 miles. So, okay, so we had one that did 1.3, and then the second one did 0.9. This one did 1.9, guys. So this shows you how the tower is spaced out. Now, what would have been nice is instead of this going 1.9 miles, and let's see what was the last speed test, so it was 221 by 5.90. I mean, we could have had a tower, let's say, you know, let's pull up the map again. We could have had one right here on this corner or we could have had one right here and give densification to this area of n41 on top of not going 1.9 miles to the next you know before we lost handoff on the tower site and as you can see there's no other tower site to hand off to that has n41 right here so thank you for tuning in guys i appreciate everything like share and subscribe remember and remember to follow all the links down below the social media just wanted to show you guys this to show you how some of these tower sites are spaced out all right and how it, how the quality of service is as the more they beam it out how much the signal degrades 
Thank you for tuning in and have a great night. Peace.